and I'd like to welcome you to this video on the Ning Menstrual Banjo site. I'd like to share with you some of the basics of getting started with stroke style technique. Although this playing style shares techniques used in claw hammer banjo playing, there are elements in this music that give stroke style a unique place in the study of early banjo. The material I will draw upon to explain, illustrate, and demonstrate is drawn directly from mid-19th century banjo books, or tutors as they are called. Of the basic books that appeared in the 1850s and the 1860s, I'm focusing on the content found in two of the earliest books from the period. One is the Briggs Banjo Instructor of 1855, and the other is the Phil Rice Banjo Method of 1858. This is a link where you can find the material that I'm using. To simplify this technique, we might say that the banjo is struck with the index or first finger and the thumb only. Phil Rice describes this in great detail in the text in his book, which hopefully you have uh, downloaded and have in front of you. You can read that through at a later time and try to copy everything that he describes. And it's, uh, it's very, very good, and I encourage you to really look at that. and. Uh, hone in on what he's talking about. We're going to set your hand up in a simpler way today. And uh, here's a good way to do that. Take something like a cell phone about this size and thickness. Put that in your right hand. Close your fingers around that and put your thumb out like that. Don't grab it like that so your fingers touch, but extend your thumb like a remote. Okay. So what that does is it Set your hand up to look something like that. Draw your arm back so that this part of your arm will rest on the rim of the instrument. Put your hand over the top of the banjo so the chosen object is parallel to the strings. Not like this, not like that, but just in a very nice, natural, relaxed manner. Okay, so you have your hand over like that. Pull the object out, and your hand is pretty well set up to go. Hopefully it looks something like that. Not too much like that, not like that. So let's set it up one more time. Object in hand. Loosely grab it with your fingers. Keep them closed. Have your thumb extended. Arm on rim of banjo. Place it parallel over the strings. What you want to do is be in front of the bridge, but behind the rim. Pull that out. And try to actually make your first fingernail touch the first string and let your thumb touch the fifth. Okay? If you've got something like that, you're set up and ready to go. And we're going to start the first motion that Phil Rice calls a half strike. A half strike is the motion of the hand coming down on the string towards the top of the instrument. That's down, and that will be up. So let's do a half strike on the first string. Okay, there's a half strike, one note only. But you'll notice that as the hand came down, the thumb is still ready to grab that fifth string because it touched that as you came down. One motion does that. So here's a series of half strikes. Your hand gets planted and ready to go for the next motion, which is called a strike or a full strike. A full strike consists of two notes and is like this. So the full strike, as illustrated in the text that uh, hopefully you've downloaded and are looking at, uh, will go like this. I'm using just a couple extra notes with the left hand to add some a little bit of harmonic variation to it. Um, 
just by having the uh, second position of the first string added to that. So the strike, as illustrated in the text that you have, will be this. This is a series of strikes. <laughs> again. Those were full strikes. Okay, so we have half strikes, full strikes, the next motion and the last one we'll cover in this segment is the strike and a half. So you can guess it is a full strike with a half strike, like that. Okay, so that motion is also illustrated in the uh, text that you have. So here's a series of uh, a strike and a half. Very important motion. You'll see this in a lot of the early banjo songs. covered a half strike, a full strike, and a strike and a half. Practice these a lot until they feel really, really comfortable. Um, good work early on is really going to pay off so pay attention to this now and uh, get it feeling so it's relaxed and natural and you're going to have a lot of enjoyment as you tackle some of the repertoire coming up see you in the next video